Hi, I'm Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a compression tester to test your lawnmower cylinder compression. Compression is the pressure that's created in the cylinder as the piston moves upward. It's affected by three components. The piston rings, the intake valve, and the exhaust valve. Worn piston rings will allow some of that pressure to leak past the rings and into the lower part of the engine, or the sump. Carbon buildup on the valves or the valve seats, or a chipped or cracked valve, will allow pressure to leak past the valve and either out the intake or out the exhaust. The compression tester allows us to test the pressure in the cylinder, and there's a couple of tests we can do that'll give us an idea whether it's the valves or the rings. The acceptable range for a compression test on a lawnmower, or really any larger four-cycle engine, can vary greatly. Some engines have a decompression system built in, which makes it easier to pull the starter rope when you go to start the engine. Those engines will have a lower reading. As a general rule, the compression reading can be anywhere from 50 pounds up to about 150 pounds. Sometimes the engine manufacturer will post a more specific spec and if possible, use that as your guideline for your test. Let's get started with the test. The compression test is best done when the engine is warm, but often that's not possible because usually you're doing a compression test because the engine won't start. To do the test, I'll remove the spark plug. Now I'll thread the compression tester into the hole for the spark plug I'm also going to remove the air filter cover and the air filter as I want an unrestricted flow of air to be able to go into the engine. And now I'll pull the starter over five or six times or until the needle stops climbing to get our reading. We're reading about 75 pounds of pressure, which would be considered a good reading. Now let's say our test had read low pressure. The leakage could be either from the piston rings or from the valves. One way we can test for this is to add some oil to the cylinder. This is called a wet test. That extra oil will help to seal off the piston rings. If after we add the oil, we see the pressure jump 10 to 30 pounds in our test, that would indicate that our leak was at the piston rings and not the valves. I'll disconnect the tester and release the pressure and I'll squirt a couple shots of oil into the cylinder with an oil can. With the gauge still disconnected, I'll turn the engine over a couple of times to distribute that oil. Now I'll reconnect the tester. And again, I'll turn the engine over five or six times until the pressure stops climbing. And you can see, even on a healthy engine, the pressure did climb, as you're always going to have a little bit of leakage past the rings. And that's how you can use a compression tester to test your lawnmower's compression. Mm -hmm. 